So, um, with your motivational speaking and stuff, I see that you go to speak in schools and stuff like that, and I guess it's appearances and all that. So, like, what's your favourite moment from that? Like, what was, what do you say your favourite time was? Going to like, was it a school? I, I think I think it was probably my my first time speaking at a school because mm -hmm. that's quite memorable. Um, mm -hmm. Because I just started it doing online and then someone saw it online it was like hey I would like you to come and speak to our students and mm -hmm. I was like oh that would be really cool um, so the first one I did was like some six formers so that was really you know that gave me the the urge to to keep mm -hmm. going. What is the end goal out of all of this like what is your vision at the end where do you see yourself? Uh, I want to be when I, well, in the end, hope when I die and go, I no, want to. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! I mean, like. Well, like, that's how that's how I would judge it. Like when I go, I want to be. I want to leave a legacy. I think one of my videos talks about legacy. Mm -hmm. I want to leave. I want to be one of the top um, inspirational people that you know ever lived. I uh, have to be mentioned among the top ten that ever yeah. walked on the surface of this earth. So yeah, it's quite. A, it's a high goal, but it's something I believe that I can achieve. I just. I want to give back to to the people, so mm. it's really important to me to leave a legacy. So, if you could be like one person, who would you be? Anyone in the world, dead or alive? Uh, myself. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, myself. Cool. No, no one else. Like. I've never heard that before. People yeah. mostly say Beyonce or Jay Z nah, or something. Nah. So, and what would your friends describe you as? Like your personality? What would they say? That Rudy is like this and this and this. Um, determined. Yep. Funny. Yep. Um. Confident, mm -hmm. uh, maybe annoying. <laughs> and like, um, if you could have any other career besides what you do now, what would it be like? If you could do anything, uh, professional football. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I've been doing. That's why I said I landed into speakers. That's what all I've been doing all my life is just play football at mm. a decent level. So, if if I went doing speaking or doing the media company stuff, or definitely professional football, yeah. Did you do any like further education, like uni and stuff? Yeah, I did uni. I went uni in Birmingham. Um, cool. I did sports management. What was your best experience from uni then, would you say? Um, cooking for myself. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was good. <laughs> I cook it for myself. Did you man. never cook for yourself before? No, I did, but this is like proper dish, like like a proper like. So what do you African call a proper man. dish? Because I know that guys call proper dish like Indomie sometimes. Nah, like nah, nah, nah. nah. That, I was doing that at home, man. But I mean, like stuff like proper dish, like jollof rice and stuff like that, <laughs> like proper. So it was, yeah. it was a, it was a good achievement. What was one of the worst experiences you've had in uni? Um, when I was dealing with my depression, you know, um, I think one of my videos would talk about it. Uh, when I was quite suicidal, mm. but like I said, all of that stuff helped me to become the person I am today. So mm. um, that was definitely my lowest point when I was really depressed. And yeah, mm. more about <coughs> that. I saw about that as well. That okay. you had like um, near-death experiences, a car crash. Yeah, and you had the depression while yeah. jumping out the window. So yeah, tell us a bit more of how you kind of escaped that because I know a lot of people go through like anxiety and depression. And like it's really close to home for some people. So how would you say like you've come out of those kind of things? It's it's by it's by realizing I realized that if if I I realized that I was going through a temporary situation, mm. and I've said in one of my videos that uh, you have to be careful that you don't um, make a permanent decision over something that's very temporary. Like, yeah. and at that particular moment. Um, especially when I was suicidal, like I was really down and I felt like, yo, I'm trying to end it and everything. And and the sad thing with, with that is if I actually did do it, do you know what I'm saying, um, I wouldn't be here today. Yeah. And all the things, this interview wouldn't be happening, all the things that I'm doing right now. Like I said, it was a temporary situation. Mm -hmm. And the sad thing is sometimes people go through those situations and they think that this is this is it, this is permanent, you know, whatever I'm going through is permanent and then mm -hmm. they end their life. And 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 I always at the back of my mind, you know, because I'm I'm a Christian as well. Mm -hmm. So God helped me really through those dark moments. And I always f said to myself, Nah, this is a temporary situation, mm -hmm. you know. And it's another thing. It's e you know, like it's easy for me to say to jump out the window, but I was I was scared of 
pain as well. Like, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? I was scared, like, oh, really? I'm gonna jump out the window. Yeah. And it's just that feeling, though. It's just that feeling at the moment. Like you're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I feel yeah. Like oh, I just wanna escape from. Yeah, exactly. What I'm going through. And yeah, the, and the problem is as well is you know uni can be a very especially an isolation place. Mm. You can be really isolated. Mm. You know, it's just you in your in your in your room and stuff mm. like that. So a lot of things can go through your head if you're not really happy at that mm. particular moment so yeah yeah that really resonates <coughs> with me because i know like a lot of uni students they do go through that kind of isolation period because you're just in that middle zone like you're away from home you just right. come out and then you're not in you're not working you're not finding yourself you're just there studying and sometimes you can be by yourself yeah of course yeah like definitely so, yeah and it's really brave of you to talk about that especially yeah. being sometimes like i feel like yeah. males don't really yeah. like to talk about it was hard it took yeah. me a long time to mm. get it out but well, I realised what that video did, it helps. You know, people want people to be transparent. So when they see that, I was like, oh, because mm -hmm. everyone might look at me like, oh, he's like, oh, he's confident. There's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with him. But now nah, we all go through our battles. So, yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. And do you have any kind of like um, advice for like youth out there, like wanting to become successful? What would you say to them? Like in this day and age, the keys to being successful? I'll say number one. Yeah, number one, you, you need to find your purpose in life, like, because mm. um, I've been, I've had the honour to be around quite a lot of successful people. I recently met um, the Ghana president, um, okay. and I also met um, Thierry Henry. Um, the football player? Yeah, the football player. Yeah, I know my football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, and one thing I realised about them is that um, I, found, I found them at their place of work, and what I mean is that when I when I was with them, they were working on their purpose, like, mm. do you know what I'm saying? So, and that gave them life, mm. do you know what I'm saying? So I think the most important thing for every young person is to find out uh, what are the gifts, what are the talents that the yeah. creator gave to me? Yeah. And then now, now I'm going to use those gifts and talents to make a difference, mm. do you know what I'm saying? So you need to find your purpose, you need to find your gift, your talent. Mm. So that's very important. Yeah, so, that is true. Yeah. I think having a close relationship with God as well. Like, yeah, 100%, help, 100%. Because he's the one that gave it to you. He's so. the one that gave it to you. And, yeah. and it's, it's, it's an interesting um, you know, passage that's written by King Solomon. He was like, oh, your gift will make room for you in the world. Mm -hmm. And well, I mentioned these great people named. The reason why I even got to that stage is because of the gift that the Creator gave to me. Mm. So this is why, you know, it's very interesting that that passage didn't say, oh, maybe your education, mm. your ethnicity. Mm. It was so specific that your gift will give, will make room for you in this world. So that's why I stress on young people to find find that gift that because that gift is gonna lead you to so many different places that you'll be surprised you're like whoa how did i get here yeah and like you said and that comes from the creator yeah so yeah, so yeah. that's true yeah well thank you so much rudy i no really worries. love this uh, little um i enjoy interview. talking to you here yeah. oh thanks. Yeah. <laughs> many people yeah. do <laughs> 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 no worries. bye two one be inspired <laughs>